that pole usually muscles fish in so something tells me that's pretty big if you're struggling it's a big cat all right take your time i'm gonna go around you on this side let me extend this net brought the big boy net today oh he's over here now is this one of the biggest cats you've reeled in huh And we weren't even out that deep. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to Hook by Hurley. Today I am over at Celebration Park. It is down on the Snake River. We are down right at the park, parked right up there, come down the hill, and there's a nice big long boat dock here. And it doesn't say we can't fish here, so we found a nice shaded area, me and Josh, and we're baiting up right now. We got some night crawlers with us. We brought a heavy pole. We got our regular poles. We're gonna see what we can get here. Catfish, maybe if we're lucky, a sturgeon, bass, trout, whatever. So we've got power bait, we've got worms. I also brought some extra baits here. We're just waiting for them to kind of thaw. They were frozen. I've got shrimp here. I've got a rainbow trout. I've got a whitefish and a bluegill. So once they thaw out, I'll probably put one of these, cut it up a little bit, put it out on the heavy pole. So stay tuned. We're going to get out there, get the poles out in the water, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we've had some bites on the worms. They keep taking them. I'm going to switch over the heavy-duty rod. My frozen fish have flawed out, thawed out. I've got a piece of whitefish from what we caught over at the uh, Boise River. Let's put that through. Again, I pushed the barbs down on here so we don't have to deal with that in case. I don't know if we would get a sturgeon on this, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not putting it out very far, as you can see, just to kind of keep it out of the flow and in garbage right there that comes down the line. So let's just throw that out there. Make sure our drag is nice and loose for that. Put our handy dandy bell on there. And then we've been throwing out some lures here. Snag. And I am going to try. There are people have been catching that came up here. I got one, a small, small mouth earlier on a spoon. I'm going to try going with one of these blades that we used up in Cascade. Hopefully I don't get snagged. I've already lost one lure out here. But it seems like casting right out here. We've seen fish jumping all through here, but most of them have been towards the way in the middle or to the other side. Can't tell if they're trout or carp, but whatever they are, they're decent size. Let's see if I can get another little bass or something and get it on camera. I know you guys want to see a little baby bass. But where there's baby bass, there might be some bigger ones. The scenery here kind of reminds me of Arizona along the, the Salt River. Over here at the Snake River. This is just south of Nampa. It might even be in Nampa. I don't know what county this is or what city. Because the uh, you lose cell signal out this way. Oh, another fish just popped right out over there. Oh, oh, oh! We just got a big hit on the meat. Josh, you got it. You got it. Got it. Oh, he's pulling drag. 
Oh, we just got a big hit on that fresh piece of meat I just put on there. The drag loose? Yeah, the drag's pretty loose. Plus, that's 50 pound braid. I don't think you have to worry about much unless you get stuck in a rock. You might need to let them. Let me get this lure in and get the net. Oh, let them take it. Let them take. Dang. I was told there's some big cats in here. If you need to let more drag, you can, but the dra Oh, I just saw a big splash. All right, we're all tangled up here. Let me get this out of the way so I can see what we got. Our goal today was to come down here and try to catch some catfish. We were kind of waiting for that, the stuff we brought to thaw out so that we could use it, and it finally did. And this is a piece of whitefish that we just caught over at the, uh, the Boise River. That pole usually muscles fish in, so something tells me that's pretty big if you're struggling. It's a big cat. All right, take your time. I'm gonna go around you on this side. Let me extend this net. Brought the big boy net today. Oh, he's over here now. Is this one of the biggest cats you've reeled in, huh? And we weren't even out that deep. All right, that's all right. I'll try to get them face first if we can get them this way. We don't have the barb on there, so let's hope it doesn't come off. Yeah, just keep that tension on because we don't got the barb on this one. A beautiful catfish. We, when he comes back this way, we'll see if we can get him head first into the net. We got him. Nope, missed him, missed him. Oh, there we go. Whew, that might be one of the biggest channels we've ever caught. Boom. All right, let's get a, that hook out and get a weight and measurement on this guy. That's a big boy. Wow. My wrist hurts. <laughs> All right, we got the hook out successfully. Let's see what the length on this guy is at. 24 inches. No, I 25. think that's you go to the tip of the tail. So we're right at 27. 27 inches. You can see it's a channel by the forked tail. We're going to see if we can hold him with these grippers and get a weight on him. So let's see. Hold on. I'm trying to hold the camera and get him a big. This was kind of the goal today to get ourselves a nice big cat. Come here. Open up. He doesn't want to open. All right, there we go. All right. Let me get a, let's see if we can get a good grip like that. He might fall. You on zero? It says point nine. Oh. Let me turn it on. I like it's going to cruise. It's getting a little bloody from these grippers. All right. Go ahead and see if you can lift him up carefully. He's stuck in the net. Hold on. Hold on. We got him tangled in the net here. Both sides. Okay. See if that'll hold him. What are we at? Like nine. Just around, hold that, nine, just over nine, about nine pounds. That's what it looks like. Okay, here he is. One last look, guys. Let me get the camera down so we can see him good. There he is. Nice big channel. Oh, he's ready to go back. <laughs> Let him go, Josh. Make sure he's alright. Oh, he took off pretty easily. Cool. Well, we still have that piece of meat. I think we'll throw it right back out there. See if we can nab ourselves another one. something on a worm. Let me see. You up the net here. Oh, he's got a, looks like a bass there on the worm. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. I think that might be your first smallmouth. Yeah. He's got the red eye and everything. Just grab him by the mouth. Perfect. 
Nice, on the worm, right over there by the rock. It's a nice one. Oh, oh, I'm getting a big hit too at the same time. <laughs> Let me see. I, oh, he fell off. All right, he was taking it too. I'm gonna throw right back over there. I was just right below the deck here. Double action right there on the worm. Hadn't had much luck with the lures, so we switched over to just dropping some some night crawlers. I got a night crawler and a and a little piece of. Well, let me get a picture for you. All right, let's get a good release on this guy. Nice. So we got a bass, nice smallmouth bass, and we got a catfish. And just had almost had a second one on here. Just put those lines back out over here. Just trying to avoid the weeds. I'm just dropping mine straight down under the dock here. Right there. Just letting her go down. And I think Josh cast it out by that, that little boulder over there, right? Right of it. Just to the right of the boulder, yeah. I think that's where they were stealing my my worms earlier. Gosh, got another one. As soon as I turn the camera off, that's when they bite. Do you think we need the net for this guy? Probably not. Another bass. He threw the worm. I see that guy doesn't have the red eye. I a little young. Oh. Let me get. All right, Josh just got another one, small guy, but another bass. All right, bud. Oh, 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 got a bite, Josh. Got another one. I'll reel it up for you. Yeah. yeah. Another bass. About the size of the last guy. Oh, oh wait. Guy. Wait a minute. I don't know, he's smaller. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, smaller than the last one. We're going down in size. Another little guy. Cute. All right. I just threw my worm out to the middle for fun before we left. And there was something fighting on here. And then he fell off. I went to get the camera and then he fell off. I literally just threw it out to the middle and let it just drift. And just slow, sli slowly reeled. And then I had something hit me. On the truck. Oh, I got snagged, but I was getting bites right there. I, I might have something on there. Yeah, I do. Oh. I got a little one. I got a little one. I just threw the worm out to the middle and let it drift and got a small bass way out in the middle, just drifting a worm. So the bass have been going down and down and down in size. <laughs> the smallest one of the day at the end. Well, hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. We caught a beautiful catfish today and a, and a few smallmouth bass over here at the Snake River. So thanks again for checking out the video. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.